Hello and welcome to another Teacher's Corner. I'm Teacher Kirby. Today we're going to be discussing key binds. Key binds is something that we hear or that I hear a lot of questions about on a regular basis. It's something that's not really understood very well but it's something that can make a big difference in your gameplay. So what is a key bind? First a key bind is a command line that you put into your chat window that tells it to allow you to do things like activate an entire tray of abilities in order from left to right okay, by pushing the same key. So my current key bind on this tune is set up to activate all of tray 10 by pushing one key. Most people use spacebar, I don't, but that's for other reasons. So if I push the key, you'll notice what happens from left to right. My abilities will activate. I'm pushing one single key. Okay. And if I let these abilities cool off, then if I continue to push it, the first ability that's cooled off will come back and be activated again. So if I continually push this, then it will continually activate the abilities on the tray. So if I just continue to push it, then I get 100% uptime or as much as close to it as I can get on all of these abilities, which is why keybinds are useful to more advanced players. So the next question that we get all the time is, well, how do I set one up? This sounds pretty complicated. Actually, it's not. There is a pretty simple to use program that a few of us use. I use it. I know SOB uses it. Um, Mr. Valakin uses it. A lot of his followers use it. Um, comes highly recommended. And it's pretty simple. It's called the FES STO Keybind application. You can find it at the website here. I'm going to link this or put this in the description of the video so you can check it out. Okay and make sure when you come to this page you don't have to move anywhere you just have to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the I agree download button okay make sure if you have any ad block software that it's turned off or disabled while you're downloading it because it may block the download All right, but it is a relatively small download and you can find it there now so when you download it, you get this is what it looks like. Okay, so if you open it up, which I've already got one open here, this is the program. Pretty simple to use. I know it looks a little intimidating, but really it's, it's not too bad. So the first thing I want to do is add a key. Okay. So you'll notice I clicked on the add key button here and it came up key and says none. This means I haven't assigned it a computer key yet. Okay, so now I come up to here where it says key and you see there's a drop down menu. I can choose any key I want from this drop down menu. Most people for whatever reason, because it's big, easy to find, most people use spacebar. That's fine. Okay, so I have my key. Now it says you'll notice spacebar. Show spacebar here selected. Now I want to come down here to this main field where it says actions. I want this key to do something when I push it. So I'm going to add an action. See how it says no activity? I want to change that. So now I'm going to come over here to activities and I'm going to click on the drop down menu and what I want it to do when I click spacebar is I want to execute full tray. Okay? As it says priority given to lower number slots. That means it's going to go from left to right 
and it's going to execute whatever is available going from left to right in the tray every time I push that space bar. Okay, now this says tray 1. Well, I don't want tray 1. I want tray 10 because that's where all my abilities are set up. So I click on tray 10. Now, that's it. That's my keybind. Okay, so now I click on create and you'll notice now it has this text in the client chat command okay so it has this text and I copy to clipboard okay now I have it copied to clipboard so now I come into my STO program and I go into my chat and I hit control V. Now you notice it's copied my command line into my chat. To apply it I'd now have to press enter. I'm not going to do that because I already have a keybind set up with a different key. Okay, But it's that simple. You can do the same thing for ground. You'd have to be on the ground when you set it up. Make sure you're in space when you do the one for space and then you have to go onto the ground to set one up for ground. Now the other question, so that's what is a keybind? How do I set one up? Now you've got it set so you can put things in tray 10 but the question then is what do I put there? Well the things that you put there are things that you always want to have up. Okay, On your standard DPS build this would be emergency power to weapons fire at will or whatever weapons buff you have. So if you have cannon scatter volley, you would put cannon scatter volley there. If you have beam overload, you would put beam overload there. Whatever you have that you want activated as often as possible. If you have override subsystem safeties, which I don't have on this build, you would put override subsystem safeties in your in your tray. Okay? So any debuffs you have, like attack patterns, chemocyte laced weaponry, or and tactical team, of course. Okay, these are things that you want as much uptime as you can have on them because they're the things that adapt your that affect your DPS and are not situational. Okay, so now as for the order. I've got here, now I don't have override subsystem safeties on this because this does not have intel, but if I did have override subsystem safeties, I would put it before emergency power to weapons because unlocking override subsystem safeties and then hitting emergency power to weapons will put your weapons power literally through the roof. Okay, so I want it in that order. All right, so if you had override substance, subsystem safeties, that would go first. Okay, on this build, because I don't have that, I've put emergency power to weapons first. Why? Because I want my weapons power as high as I can get it before I hit anything else. And it has a long cooldown. Okay, this also is going to make sure that the entire time that I'm firing, I have the haste applied from emergency weapon cycle. Okay, and the power drain reduction from that ability as well. So I want this to be the first thing that gets activated. Then I activate my weapons buff. In this case, beam fire at will. If I were running cannons, it would be cannon scatter volley. If I were running, well, if I'm running torps, I'd do it manually, but. <laughs> If I were running beam overload, this would be beam overload. If I were running, you know, something that had that. So next, so after, so first, emergency power to weapons, then your weapons buff, then I put my debuffs. So I put attack pattern beta first, and then I put my two chemocyte laced weaponries. These have shorter cooldowns, so we want them, or short, sorry, shorter uptime, so we want them closer to the firing point. And then, of course, tactical team, which 
is going to be last because we want right before we fire we want that automated shield distribution okay so that's pretty much the order you want your your tactical teams always going to be last you want your emergency power ability first before that would be override subsystem safeties okay so you want like override subsystem safeties and you want your power affecting things first then your weapons buffs then your de target debuffs then your tactical team for shield distribution. Do not, do not, under any circumstances, put distribute shields on your, on your key bind. Okay, do not put it in that tray. Distribute shields has the lovely effect of interrupting your firing cycle which means that your weapons will begin to fire so maybe two or three will fire and then they will stop as soon as distribute shields is hit meaning that not all of your weapons fire in the cycle and then you move to the next cycle and might get a couple off before it interrupts it again so do not it will kill your DPS do not put distribute shields on your keybind alright so short review whoops that was not what I wanted okay so short review go to this website scroll all the way to the bottom download the program quickly create a keybind you saw it was pretty easy to do once you have it remember to click create bind file then copy, copy to clipboard Control V to paste into chat, then hit enter, and then put in order abilities that affect your power, your weapons power, then your weapons buff, your target debuffs, shield distribution for your tact from your tactical team. That's what you're using it for. All right. Well. I hope this has given you the uh, courage to try some keybinds, get out there and experiment a little bit. And uh, you can hear the discussion of Teacher's Corner live every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time on the show. Look forward to seeing you there.